everyone welcome to our channel and in today's video we are going to see place value worksheet if you have missed to check out my video on how to introduce place value for kids then i'll share the link of the video in my description box below please do check it out and in today's video we are going to see some fun activities and worksheets that we use to learn place value better so come let's get started here i have made few cards and i think this is from the play-doh to plateau website and i'll share the link in the description box below so this is actually a quantity versus number matching activity so what he needs to do is he needs to find what it is and match it with the number card okay papu start two tens one ten two, two, ten. two tens and one unit two unit three unit four unit five unit six unit seven unit eight unit nine unit so, so i get to pick 29 so it is two tens and nine units which is 29 So again, we are moving into the worksheet where actually like uh, since RM knows place values, so I am just giving the sample worksheet. You can stretch it or reduce it as per your kids comfortable level. So here, this activity is like circle the correct one. I have given the number with two options. So he just needs to find which is the correct quantity that is matching to this number and he needs to circle it. So, yeah. yeah, what number is this? 42. So, how many tens and how many units are here? 4 tens and 2 units. So, from these options, which do you think is matching to it? This one. Okay, fine. Here's the number. So, quantity versus number. So, you need to find out how many tens and how many units are there and write the number here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, start. Can you tell me how many tens are there? Two tens. Twenty. Mm. Five. Good. The activity is read the number and look at the underlined digit. And we need to write H for hundred, T for tens, O for ones. For example, the number is two hundred and six. I have underlined two here. We need to ask the kid what is the place value for this. So we say it as two hundreds. So we need to write H inside the box for hundred. Okay, can you do this, Aram? Yeah. Can you read the number first? Two hundred and eighty-three. So I have but my mom underlined two. So I two is in the hundreds. Yeah. So this is the reverse of our previous activity and here he needs to write the number that is there in the hundreds, tens and ones place. So read the number, think the place of each digit, write in the correct order. For example, here I have given the number as 632. So hundreds we have 6 and in the tens place 3 and in the units or ones place we have so are you ready yes yes can you read the number 306 so 100 place 3, three and tens place 0 ones place 6 so the next is just the same like the previous one where he just needs to expand the number into tens hundreds and units place so for example here i have given the number as 53 so he needs to find out how to make 53 with their place values so here it will be five tens plus three units makes the number 53 so are you ready papa yes it's the reverse of our previous activity here i have written in words and he needs to find the number and for example here it is seven tens and seven ones so the number is seven seven yeah can you write it so this activity is the 
place value riddles so the first one is like are you ready baby yes yeah i have five ones six tens and three hundreds 365 yeah can you write here yes this is also a riddle but it's little bit um tricky i would say um and it's best to try for older kids and here i have given the options also and the question goes like this i have 6 in my tens place okay yeah i am greater than 60 mm. but less than 7 tens yes what number am i am i 78 60 67 or 13 i am 67 how because my mom said it's hidden 60 that means greater than 60 and it's not it's less than 70 so i told 67 good So the next one is I have a number with four tens. Yeah, four tens. One more than my number makes the tens change. Forty-nine. How? I said because there are four tens and nine units, and also if we put forty-nine, the tens will change, like. Five. It will be five. I didn't put thirty-nine because they didn't say three tens. They said four tens. That's why I said forty-nine. This is a very simple matching activity. Actually, I just made this for a uh, like uh, as an example that you can introduce it for younger kids. Um, so this is I have given the number. with the quantity cards and what exactly has to be done is they need, just need to match the activity so you can plan fun activities like this so that um it will not be boring at the same time they will be keep on looking into the place values so it will be a good review for them as well hope you all like this video and if you need printable for these activities please let me know in the comment box below and i'll share the image for a better clarity and if you have any suggestions or request on any specific activity that you want me to post then please let me know that as well and if you haven't subscribed yet please take a moment to subscribe to our channel for future updates thanks a lot for your support and please do keep supporting us take care and have a great week